Yo, 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 yo. Welcome to the first ever episode of the Essence Musical Podcast, where we're talking all things musical, not just that. We are also chilling with your favorite, favorite, favorite Swati artist. I am Bule Nondovu, and I'm here with my co host, Mini Leshavavuso. And please like, share, subscribe. Let's go! Today we're chilling with our own national treasure, the Velem Seni, who has graced so many the biggest stages that have you know festival stages inclusive of you know the MTN Bushfire, uh, FNB Smooth Fest. Um, she's also been uh, a judge of the biggest musical competition, the MTN Spotlight, uh, for three years now. So she breathes, lives. Probably even it's music. Please let him say me. Introduce yourselves to the lovely people in Makaya. Uh, well, I mean, you know, as you said, my name is Vedim Saini and uh, I, I do live on a diet of uh, the audio. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know. What, what do you want to What do you want to know? <laughs> Firstly, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence today. Thank you. Um, and speaking about grace, your name, Vedim Saini. Um, I understand that the direct translation is coming from Grace mm. or something like that. Um, who named you that name? Um, it's so sweet of you to ask. I love, um, <laughs> love that question. My my father named me. Mm. Um, so he I mean, he passed when I was young. Mm. But uh, when my mom was was pregnant, she, he was definitely sure it was going to be a boy. So he was like, I am Philip said, you know. <laughs> and then the girl came out and he was like, same difference. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's how I got my name. Yeah, just to, just to end on that question, we know that for us Africans, our names are just not, na- are not just names. They you know mean something or predict our future or actually. Mm. So do you think your name has followed you in terms of grace and God's grace and everything? 100%. I do believe in the power of speech as well. Okay. And I know we'll see when you speak to you, you know, when the, the, especially the words your parents speak to you, they come to life. So... My whole life, I think this name has been like a, a prayer that my parents spoke way before I reached those steps, you know, Vela and Musa, and then here I am. You know, I've traveled the world, Nemusa, you know. Oh, yeah, um, I think so, yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> so, so, if you're watching out there, if you're having a baby, name them something you want to them to be. So, if you want them to travel the world, <laughs> I'm at them, it's it's it, but <laughs> Speaking of traveling the world, yeah. I didn't know this. Mm-hmm. But Mini made it, um, made it, made me aware of the fact that you actually lived in Denmark for I, nine years, and not not a lot of people actually know that. Yeah. So just please briefly tell us how it's been for you um, going to another country nine years and very long time, and coming back and cementing yourself as an artist in Switzerland. The challenges and how has it how has it been for you um, the transition, you know, coming back and yeah, how has that been for you? Uh, I think as like a girl, you know, it's, it was very hard to come back and be the one who didn't know her, you know, home language. I had to relearn Siswati. That's why it has its potholes here and there. Yeah, yeah. I taught myself to the point where like I, in high school I was reading grade 7 Siswati books. Just to fill the gap. Fill the gap. Yeah. <laughs> so I did my best. Uh, so as a girl, it was, it was uh, work coming back home. Oh, okay. But I think as a working artist um i had a slight advantage because you know in the west they they're more open-minded and they have less of a a kotsamari culture Mm. so i i I was a bit more brave in certain aspects when it comes to the world but yeah it was quite the journey i must say yeah (laughs) and you were introduced to work here because i understand that your history with music started from what hip hop and (laughs) and rap before you actually Mm -hmm. got to the sound um you in right now how is that transition um, it's been quite gentle, actually. You know, I, I started with um, there was this poetic movement. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, they're gonna kill me. But I always speak about them. Yeah. Um, rooted souls. Okay. <laughs> 
So I used to, yeah, right? <laughs> shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, I used to attend, you know, those sessions where you get inspired, mm-hmm. you perform, and you get like uplifted. You hang out with artists yeah. who are also hungry, you know, to perform and to grow. So um, it was a really gentle way into the industry for me, yeah. the gentlest way possible. Like, you know, honestly. Yeah, and meeting true. them, like, okay, RTC, they've yeah. been in the industry uh-huh. and they just welcomed you. Yes. Uh, okay. Seeing Naba. Yeah. Yeah. I remember <laughs> you used to, like, sing. Yeah. That was my first feature. Really? Yes. So, I. I don't think you remember, but I remember the first time I met Melem Come through. Um, <laughs> you were at the U.S. Ambassador's, uh, the former U.S. Ambassador to Swaziland. Miss Peterson. Oh. No, I think there was an uh, expo for poets by Dr. Gavin. Yes. And that's the first time I actually had you say. And here's mm-hmm. the thing. Not much has changed about you in terms of physical appearance. Mm-hmm. So I would assume that there's a sense of style. Right. that you go for that probably sets you apart from all the other arts. I just want to know where that fashion sense slash style yeah. comes from. Because your signature is like it gold, gold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> even when you do braids. And, and in this case, I know they say all that glitters is not gold, but, but in this, this case, case it's gold. gold. <laughs> this is gold. Like we say, national treasure. Oh, <laughs> you guys are too kind. Um, I mean, the hair. Mm-hmm. I think um, my earliest memory of like one of my favorite singers is Angelique Kijo. Oh, okay. Uh, she's a Nigerian singer. You look up Brenna Boy's last album, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Giant, what is it called? I said something giant. No, she's yeah. she's a African feature giant. Yes. Thank you, thank you, African giant. She she's got a feature in there, but um, so she's been blonde since like the eighties, nineties. Okay. And she's dark skin like me. Yeah. And you know she doesn't have your typical uh like uh, Eurocentric features. Yeah. She's yeah. like a, uh an African gorgeous in in another sense. in my sense I would say. So I've always been inspired by her look. And uh, the hair's been there, it's like an homage to her, inspired by her, and then a bunch of other girls as well, with the short hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that so much, and I feel like with us as women, we experience colorism in different ways, yeah. and I'm not sure if you've experienced any negativity when it comes to like the way you look and present yourself, especially as a dark-skinned woman mm-hmm. in the music industry. You know, it's funny, uh, definitely I think I have, um, but not in, to such a harsh degree, I would say, as most people might have. Uh, having lived all over the world, yeah. my experience has always been multicultural, multicultural, uh, open-minded. I'm always where the hippies are, so uh, you know how we are, loving, you know, and accepting and all that. So I think a lot of my experience with colorism has been internalized. Because like, like the years in Denmark, you know, I grew up with white people. Uh, so I'm always the odd one out. Yeah. You know. stand out if you be a black. Right, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. But not necessarily have I experienced hate okay. oh, yeah. oh. for my, my um, skin tone. Which is a good thing. We hope it for the same. Yeah. 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 Um, not a lot of people actually also know this, mm-hmm. but we came, we, we learned that you're actually also a musical teacher, a lecturer actually, not teacher, lecturer <laughs> at uh, Lincoln Queen University in Mumbai. Yeah. How did that come about? It's funny, you know, I, okay, so I went to the States um, to study music. Oh, okay. Uh, and then I come back and I'm like, okay, I've done the whole school thing, ma. Let me, let me sing yeah. now. Let me do my own thing. Right. Yeah, let me fly now. <laughs> Um, and so I hear that there's an opening at the school where I'm like, nah, you know, I don't know. I really just want to sing, you guys. Like, a day job is distracting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is, it is. Uh, but my, I think my sister insisted, like, just go for it, you never yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And I've been there for like four years now. Are you enjoying yeah. it? Um, <laughs> it's good, it's good. Ah. I think uh, I think it's time for new things, though. You oh, know? okay, yeah, yeah. 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 But I definitely love that part of my like, uh, mus- my experience as a musician, you know, teaching oh. is special to me. Nami, I always had a special relationship with my music teachers. So being on the other side, um, it's heartwarming and it's like full circle, like, oh, I get to impart my passion onto another child. Yeah. So I love that. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Speaking about relationships, I, <laughs> I've seen that your mom um, is a very significant um, person in your life mm-hmm. and family. You love family, and in the Shisa music video, (laughs) 
um i want you to take us through the process the shooting process of the video because we can see the journey of you riding the bicycle yeah. from bolio journey all the way and then um your your par- your mom rather mm-hmm. and your cousin sisters they sh- they show um towards the end of the video mm-hmm. um please take us through the shooting process like the production how yeah. and then how that then um linked with the lyrics of the of the song yeah, she says yes. yeah um that's a great question i <laughs> love that uh okay so the the whole the, the concept of she's of the song is uh you know just uh finding a love that feels like you've experienced it before this lifetime so i have i use a lot of imagery of like stars you know so time travel yes. the love that travels time transcends yeah. time um and i thought why not connected to this one you know because there's a part of the song where it's so the first line is like huh first verse goes uh, uh i was born three hours before noon and i was crying for you that's like a, a summary of it so you know i found like when i was born love of my life my mom we meet again yeah, wow. you know yes. that was the feeling that i wanted to oh, check you right mm-hmm. Um, and I also just wanted to pay homage to my home country, you know, I love, so I wanted to showcase what the country looks like, Ule Chirini. And there's this um, quote that I, I think has stayed with me for the longest time. Um, is it Khalil Gibran? But he says, like, um, love, work, sorry, work is love made real. So what, I, what that meant to me was, like, you show love in actions, it's not just words, of it's action. So the bike, when, or symbolizing yeah, my love, action, that okay, is love, yeah, it's work, okay. it's action, it's not just the concept, it's what you do here on earth. And then, so the love was fueling the journey towards mm-hmm. my uh, homecoming, and uh, obviously homecoming for me, I'm big on family. So yeah. everything is, is working towards seeing the girls. Yeah, oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> So, since we also care about you guys at home, we have attached um, links to the videos that we are referencing in this episode. So, I'm going to attach a a link of the video to Shisa and the video I'm about to ask about, which is Belly, which I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love. You should see it. But yes, Mm -hmm. so with Belly, just can you also take me through the creative process of it? Um, And... What was going through your um, your head when you were writing it, mm-hmm. and down to the music video right. that was also uh, shot by a non Swazi yes, uh, yeah, production yeah, team. Yes, yeah. Yes, so yes, I just well, we just want because we want to we want to know the creative process around all of that. Mm-hmm. So how, how did that come about, and were you happy with how everything rolled out? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, <laughs> you guys, you yeah, you did. I love it. I love it here. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so with Bailey, Bailey is, uh, I think, most people's favorite song from me. It's, uh, it's guys, perfect. if you haven't checked it, I beg you. It's absolutely perfect. I will pay so you. I am God because, like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. I will pay you. Yes. Will pay you. <laughs> Yeah, it is in Gomemko really, but um, the, 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 the perspective that I was writing it in was when you're still in the relationship, mm-hmm. but already it's going, you're going, everybody's cold, everybody's tense, everybody's withdrawn. Lack of affection. Lack of, like, you, but when we started, yeah. when you barely touched me, the world was on, when you barely, so that's the whole concept of the song. The things I used to feel when you barely touched me, sure. no longer there now, sure. you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> now we're getting part of the summer one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. it's all gone yeah so it is some cool song um and i just wanted to to reflect that but visually i feel like we could have got leaned in it was just a matter of time like we had to release the song that was um okay. the decision we took so being up in the mountains with my uh, uh, with my <laughs> My uh, video vixen, yeah. um, you know, I wanted to show the Swazi landscape in winter, like it's very dry, even though the sun, yeah. you know, um, the sun being, we're still together, but uh, everything is... Everything's dead. Uh, right. It's beside, it's beside, it's beside the fact that the sunlight and everything, but mm. everything is just withering and everything. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Uh, so I got the, I mean, um, New Life Entertainment produced yeah. that video for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, we're very good friends with them. So um, that's what it was. And I mean, I love, I think my favorite part of the video is the candles. Uh, yeah. I've carried that theme through even to another performance. I just, yeah. I, I, I'm, I've always loved fire. <laughs> Side <laughs> note. Um, I don't know, I find it entrancing, mystical, cleansing, whatever. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's actually interesting that you brought up yeah, the candles. Yeah, I was literally That was our <laughs> follow-up question. We <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> picked up the candles mm. in the music video mm. and also your performance. Yes. Was so so nice. Nice. Which was stand yeah. by the it way. Was so it was very different. <laughs> But you've already answered why you have the candles um, around right. you, like because they represent something. Right, and then also this is coming to me now, mm -hmm. but like, because uh, I'm I'm a very visual person, mm -hmm. but I don't talk about a lot of my mm -hmm. concepts, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's very. But uh, you know, fire, being in fire, like when you're in a miserable relationship, it's like sometimes you sacrifice a part of yourself to stay there. Course, so you put the sacrifice in the fire, and so that's why I'm singing amongst the candles. Uh, Guys. <laughs> we need. We're behind in the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. also, I mean, there's so much with candles. The white candle, it's you know, uh, praying, uh, manifesting, manifestation, mm. of course. Yeah, yeah, very beautiful concept. Yeah, yeah. How so, is, yeah, go on. <laughs> um, my last question to you mm -hmm. is obviously, you've been in the industry for a while, yeah. Uh, we call you our national treasure. Um, <laughs> my question to you is, if you could change one thing about the, not even one thing, anything that you'd want to change about um, the music industry mm. in Swaziland, with regards to how it could make a better striving environment for artists mm -hmm. and not just artists but everyone in the musical um in the music industry that involves your songwriters your producers um, music video uh, videographers and all that what is the one thing that you think is lacking especially now when we're talking about paying artists royalties and we still you know are left in the stone ages unfortunately <laughs> so what is it that you think would could be done better to ensure that um our artists actually eat yo this is a big question i'm sorry uh, <laughs> it's a big, yeah. and i think yo there's so many there's so many parts of it because even like um our society as a small country of course we're yeah. going to look at each other differently you know it's going to be harder to uh, be more rebellious or more uh, resistant, you know, yes, um, because course. everybody's your cousin. And, everybody's your yeah. and yeah. It, so it's built into us to be like, what are they going to say? That's number one. So the, the size of the country is an issue, is unfortunately. Uh, the, the religion in the country is an issue because uh, we are a Christian country. Yeah. Yeah. So Christians and artists tend to clash, clash because, because one... Uh, one pushes humility yeah. and, and respect and you know yes, the because. other pushes boundaries and rejection and rebellion you yeah, know yeah. so it's tough because we're a small country again <laughs> so I think my main point this is a long I think a, yeah, you no, call no, me back we'll yeah, we have for, <laughs> just for <laughs> that question yeah, just for that could, okay. I think um, artists should leave the country you I, heard it first <laughs> And I think that's valid. Yeah. I think I'm ready to go, if I'm mm -hmm. being honest. Um, yeah. I've done pretty much what I can do from here. Now I need to... Just a place to grow and expand. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I'll still be waving the flag. I'm still yours, Swaziland, but I can't do it from here. Yeah. We've tried. A lot of the artists in my generation know exactly what I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, yeah, it's time. Yeah. Yeah. We'll come and, back. Yeah, and quite <laughs> honestly, no one can vilify her for saying those things because... Uh, I'd say our biggest export or our biggest song to come out of Swaziland, which was Sticky, mm -hmm. made it bigger. We started appreciating it actually Absolutely. once it started playing on Channel O, yeah. Trace, and we were listening to it on and all that. So I fully understand what you mean. Yeah. Fully get it. it what does the Bible be. say about uh, uh, when you leave, that's yeah. when you get celebrated? Oh, you're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> 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 or uh, something about a stick. 
The sparkler, <laughs> someone else. Okay. Anyway, but yeah. Yeah. In that verse. It applies. It yeah, applies. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it can be a very uh, frustrating environment. Uh, I I can also attest to that as a photographer. Mm-hmm. It can be a, when you see some of your peers outside of mm-hmm. Swaziland and what they're doing and what they can do and just how much they can um, expand themselves and express themselves. So no. Yeah, like with um um uh, there, there was something online the other day about an artist who was rude on the phone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they lost a the gig because of because that. yeah because I mean do you yeah. want do you want my personality or do you want my work exactly so I need to go yeah. exactly <laughs> guys you heard it here first on the Essence Musical podcast, podcast. the best the, the the best so um. We're done, right? Yeah, we're done. And guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do check out um, Venom Seni's um, videos, musical videos that we linked in the description box below. And yeah, share this um, podcast with your friends. You can get it also in our podcast um, um, streams. Yeah, which we are going to also attach attach the links uh, down below. But also, um, I know we have set the artist that we want to interview. But also to make this interesting and engaging, you can also suggest the artist, or the, and this is not limited to people who only sing. This can be a producer, a, a, photog- a photographer, a music a video, videographer, mm-hmm. and all the like. Those you'd like to see their perspective and want to know more, about them. And because we love you guys so much, as in she not while well, we're going to have a live performance from Venom Sony herself and yeah do enjoy it. Bye guys.
what you said to me. Yeah, yeah. Let go of doubt and drown my fear as you cross the river to the other side. Just what you said to me, yeah, yeah. Let go of doubt and drown the fear as you cross the river to the other side. Turn to me, ale, 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 ale. Turn to me, ale, 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 ale. In any form of love, who knows? Thank mm-hmm. you.